Hey, did you know Hyplet Store makes the coolest merchandise just for you? Place your order today as everything is 50% off and get completely free shipping no matter where you are. Hypletstore.com, there's a bit of everything for everyone. I'd like to ask you to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Disney movies and join that notification squad by hitting the subscribe button. Also comment down below when you do so and we'll do our best to reply to as many of you as we possibly can. Thanks to Disney and Pixar, animated movies became some of the most popular ones out there, but it seems like no matter how many writers, animators and editors work on a film, some mistakes and errors are bound to slip through to make it into the final version. Get your popcorn ready and lean back to enjoy these 10 editing fails you missed in popular animated movies. Pixar's first feature-length animated film from 1995 was a huge hit and Toy Story has since become a classic. But despite its popularity, the movie about a boy's toys that come to life and their adventures is not flawless. One major mistake that slipped by the editors can be seen at the beginning of the film when a toy sergeant and his army are watching Eddie's birthday party in order to find out if a new toy will be joining their group. While watching Andy opening his presents in the living room, they use a baby monitor to communicate with the toys upstairs. However, the movie makers obviously made a mistake here, as the part that the soldiers use to report back is actually the handheld part, which only acts as a speaker, while the other half of the monitor with the microphone is upstairs on Andy's bedside table, which means that the toys wouldn't be able to communicate the way they are in the movie. This is how we find out what is in those presents. In 2015's Minions movie tells the story of three Minions who are recruited by a supervillain to help her and her husband take over the world. In order to join the world's first female supervillain, the three first have to go on a road trip across the world though. During this journey, they hitch rides with several people, including a man driving a hippie van and a lady playing Valkyries. Interestingly enough, these two vehicles have the same license plate numbers, but they are likely the only visible ones in the movie that are actually identical. It almost seems like the editors were trying to challenge viewers to find this mistake. <laughs> Finding Nemo tells the story of a clownfish who is captured in the Great Barrier Reef and taken to Sydney while his father tries everything to bring him home safely. While the adorable story was a huge success, many people have pointed out the fact that the animators and editors of the movie disregarded the laws of physics when they allowed Nemo's fish tank friends to float above the surface of the ocean, while still in their plastic bags after making their escape into the Sydney Harbor. The bags of salt water in which the fish are contained wouldn't normally float above the surface, but rather float with their inner water level at just about the same level as the surface of the ocean. <laughs> Although Zootopia was a huge success for Disney, even winning the Academy Award for Best Animated Picture in 2017, there is more than one mistake that the editors made in the movie. After a horrible day at work, for instance, Judy comes home to her tiny apartment and throws her notebook next to the alarm clock on the table. However, in the previous scene in the apartment, the alarm clock was in the windowsill instead of the table and it isn't the only thing in the room that seems to be moving around on its own. The notebook that Judy tosses onto the table actually disappears in one shot before reappearing in the next one, so unless these lifeless objects suddenly came to life or Judy has a ghost, these are clearly mistakes that the editors failed to notice. You are probably familiar with the story of Beauty and the Beast, where a curse has turned Prince Adam into a beast after he turned away an enchantress offering him a rose in return for shelter from a storm. These events took place about 10 years before the movie does, and the prince is now desperate to find someone who likes him for who he is instead of how he looks, and the spell will only be broken if he learns to love another and earn their love in return before the last rose petal falls, which is about to happen. However, since the prince is about 21 years old in the movie, he would have been cursed when he was 10 or 11, which means that the portrait of him as a grown man which he destroys in one scene could not exist.
This error is one of Disney's most well-known editing fails, but luckily, it does not derogate from the beauty of the movie. Lilo's new pet stitch is pretty unusual, but there is also a mystery of a different nature in this popular film from the year 2002. In the scene where Nani is buying the unique little dog that her younger sister Lilo wants to adopt, we can see a green wall with a lot of nothing in the background as she hands over $2 to the woman behind the counter. However, in the next shot, we see the room with the counter in a wider angle and now a phone has suddenly appeared in the wall. So it looks like this continuity error in Lilo and Stitch is yet another one that slipped through unnoticed in a Disney movie. Most of you are probably familiar with Disney's Tarzan that tells the story of an orphan boy who is raised by apes. While the story which features talking animals and humans who can move and fight just like apes is evidently complete fantasy, there is one line in the movie that is one of the biggest fails by Disney editors. When Jane and her father stumble upon Tarzan and his family, they think he is such an important discovery that Queen Victoria, Charles Darwin, as well as Kipling will wish to meet him. Everyone's going to want to meet you. Darwin and Kipling! Queen Victoria! And while it is indeed more than likely that one of the most important biologists and the author of The Jungle Book would want to meet a boy who was raised by apes in the jungle, Darwin actually died in 1882 when Kipling was only 17 years old and writing for newspapers in India, with his most famous book not being published for another 10 years. So it is clear as day that the writers and the editors should have done some fact-checking in this case. In 2008's Kung Fu Panda, a panda named Po is unexpectedly chosen as a dragon warrior to fulfill an ancient prophecy. But while his dreams of joining the world of Kung Fu come true, he has to defend everyone from an oncoming threat sooner than he thought. There is one scene when Po tries to use a bamboo stick to pull Vault into the ceremony where the dragon warrior is chosen. Unfortunately, he fails and hits the wall instead, leaving a huge crack. However, in the following shots, this crack has magically disappeared and never turns up again. There is a lot of magic going on in Disney Wintery Fairy Tale Frozen, but there are some moments in the movie that are more likely to be in the editor's heads. In the scene when Anna and Hans share their first song together, they dance on top of a lighthouse, and to make this scene even more romantic, the light causes their shadows to be cast on the sail of a nearby ship. However, it is pretty hard to miss that their shadows somehow hover above ground instead of on the walkway that Anna and Hans are dancing on. And it's nothing like I've ever known before. Love is an open In 2004's The Incredibles tells the story of a family of superheroes trying to live the quiet suburban life when they are forced back into action in order to save the world. The film makes it pretty clear that the events take place in an alternate version of the 1960s, many years after public opinion has turned against superheroes, forcing them to lead undercover lives. Do you have to read at the table? Uh -huh. Yeah. Smaller bites, Dash. Yikes. Bob, could you help the carnivore cut his meat? In the movie, there is one scene when Mr. Incredible takes a trip down the memory lane, looking at some old newspaper clippings he keeps at his office. But while most of them are about his past adventures, there is also one clipping that seems to come from the future, as one of the front pages shows the date of September 16th, 2002, a date which is about 40 years ahead of the movie's events. So, unless Mr. Incredible can also travel through time, this is obviously at another editing mistake and probably not the last one, as there will surely be a lot more that we can find in animated movies in the future. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Also, don't forget to turn that post notification bell on so you never miss our uploads. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.